What's up guys and welcome to the tarot. I am the energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the general reading for somebody. So let's see who's going to get this reading. Virgo. What's up Virgs? Thank you so much for being here. This message can resonate with you if you have Virgo as a sun, moon, rising, or Venus. The energy might be reversed for you Virgo, so take it how it resonates and leave the rest, all right? All right, so this week, I'm doing this a little differently, okay? Please like this video, um, if you guys like this video. <laughs> I'm doing this a little differently this week. I am going to pull, like, a couple oracles, and I'm going to clarify with the tarot. Like, whatever comes out, comes out type of energy. So, let's see. All right. Virgo. What's going on? What's going on? You better stop it. You have Im imagination at the bottom of the deck. All right, so you have service and pride. You're giving to, to something, to someone, to whatever, because you, it's like, oh, I don't like this combination. It's like you're giving to something or someone out of pride, out of, you know, um, I should do this, or this is their, like, I don't know. I don't like this together. What is this pride and service? You have six of pentacles in reverse and the empress. You're giving to something that is not open to, it's like it's not loving back. And you're giving a lot to it. You're giving a lot to it. And whatever this is, it's like closing the door in your face, giving you the finger, spitting on your face. Might as well be doing all of that. It's like, it's such a cold energy. It's such a cold energy. The sun and, the, sun and the king of swords. You'll be a lot happier if you cut this off. Just some some advice. Could be a Leo. Or be honest with or hit him with the truth. Like, why are you so closed off, bro? What's good with you? Do you do you need a do you need a cookie? You know? Um, but whatever this is, they want you to kind of pull back your energy a little bit. Don't overdo it, boo. Stop overdoing it because they don't care about you the same way you care about them. With the Empress in reverse, they do not, okay? All right, this, I'm gonna keep this. You have hostilities in reverse. I'm keeping it in reverse. I usually don't read this deck in reverse. You have door to personal happiness here. So, okay, I like this. Bottom of the deck is cornucopia, yes. So I feel like you have accepted the door to healing and happiness, Virgo. I don't know and what, but there's something that's happening in your life or that's coming in or that came in um, that I feel like at first you were fighting off. I feel like you're like, I don't want it. Meh, get out of here. Meh. And I feel like now you're like, you know, I see the possibilities, you know, I see the rainbow, you know, like, I feel like you're warming up to whatever this is. And I'm glad because this is your wish, boo. You're going to get in there everything that you've ever wished for. And I get it. It might not look like what you thought. It might not smell like it. it might not even taste like it, but that's besides the point, right? Okay. What's hostilities and door to personal healing? Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the Will of Fortune in reverse, and everything is fine in reverse. But this is, the, but this is, this is the situation. You cannot repeat. You cannot. You cannot repeat the same. Okay. You gotta. You gotta make sure that you're good first. Okay. Make sure that you're nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself. I also feel like this is this is coming in because you weren't doing that. You weren't nurturing yourself. You weren't taking care of yourself. And this was in a cycle that you were doing over and over and over and over and over again. And I feel like without you really noticing, like you could have become drained physically with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So it's like there's something that's going to come in to kind of replenish that, to kind of like help you with that and help you recover. Okay. And I feel like you know that. Like, I feel like you're just like, okay, fine. You know, and I like that. I like that. You, this makes you really soft, really tender, really gentle. And I like that for you. All right, Virgo. Bottom of the deck is leap. Could be with an Aries. You have transformation and new. <laughs> if it's an Aries, the universe said new. All right. But there's something here that is okay don't accept okay you're supposed to be going through a transformation right now um and i feel like with the no there's some type of distraction because there is a leap of faith that you have to take but i feel like there's distractions what is this 
Nine of Pentacles and the Five of Swords in reverse. Some of you guys being independent, um, being by yourself, self-sufficient, um, makes you feel more secure. But that's not the way. You're going to have to collaborate with people. What is this no and transformation? <laughs> Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Cups in reverse. You have the Tower in reverse, Devil, and the Six of Wands. This could be a Capricorn. There's an obsession here about succeeding, about having a victory. And because something is like, because you want to, or someone, right? Take it how it resonates, wants to, wants to succeed and be victorious so, so bad under any circumstances is kind of what I'm getting. They're refusing to change that mindset with the tower in reverse. And I think the tower is going to happen. I don't know. I want to clarify this. I feel like this is a, this is a distraction. This is the no, like do not accept anything, from, especially from a Capricorn, because somebody wants to win at all cost, and you're not supposed to accept that. Eight of Cups in reverse, Five of Swords in reverse, Nine of Pentacles. This is somebody who sees that you're good all by yourself, so they feel like you'll be able, you'll be able, blah, blah, blah. you will take this easy. You'll know what this is because you, you already walked away from it, and you got to go back to it. If you got to ever go back to something, don't do it. The Four of Wands in reverse, the Queen of Pen the Queen of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. You you fit the picture very very well, but it's not going to be good for your finances or your family situation, and the foundation is not going to be stable. Okay, so really think about that. All right, next. Virgo. Virgo. All right, you have the energy is gaining momentum and take time to breathe out. So I feel like if things have been really heavy lately, it's because um, a new romantic cycle begins. Could be with a Libra. There's something new that's right around the corner, um, the Nine of Wands here, and you're going to have your guard up towards it because of this situation. But um, I feel like, yeah, things are, you know, things get crazy before they get good. So that's kind of what's happening. Where's this energy of gaining momentum and take time to breathe out? You have Queen of Wands, Nine of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like your abundance is coming, but I feel like you need to, it's like they want you to look the part. It's kind of what I'm getting, not physically, but it's like they don't want your guard up. They don't want this, this, this wall up here that you have. Yeah, because whatever, whatever you're manifesting is going to be um, delayed if you have your boundaries up, if you have this wall up. So just know that whatever you're going through right now, it needs to happen for the for the new thing to come in. OK, so try to kind of allow. Don't try to control as much at this moment is what I'm going to say. OK. All right. So let's keep going. There we go. Someone's not as innocent as you think. Virgo. I don't know why I just got that. Um, I think I saw the purity card. You have beauty and the beast. You need some space in this relationship. Speaking of a person. You have dragonfly and mermaid. And then you have the butterfly ferrets. I am reborn. You're, you have attracted wonderful news. You're going, you're definitely going through a transformation. Something is going through a transformation. This relationship with this person is going through a transformation. And it's going to be like a beauty and the beast type of relationship. But it's like somebody's all up in your neck. Like breathing all up in your neck won't give you space. It's kind of like really annoying. What is this dragonfly, mermaid, and the butterfly? Did you guys hear my stomach? Ah! I'm hungry. All right. You have the Nine of Cups. Yeah, it could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a lot of air. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Queen of Swords, Five of Swords, and Reverse, and the Two of Wands. Okay, so I feel like you need to make a logical decision here to look forward, to start making plans elsewhere. Because I feel like you're trying to get out of your head, right? I see you getting out of your head, and you're just like, okay, I need to, I need to get out of my head here and think logically. Because if I put my heart in it, it's not, it's, it's, yeah. And and I see you, and I, and it's crazy. Because even though you do this, you still revert to, okay, listen, let, let's do it like this. Because you're so loyal and committed to whatever this is. Or it's the other person, right? But with the King of Swords, it's like, 
there's going to be someone's going to cut this off. Some truth, some something is going to happen where four of wands in reverse, ten of cups in reverse, and the ace of pentacles in reverse. Right? Someone's a family, a marriage, something isn't going to work out. It's going to make someone very unhappy and opportunity is not going to be accepted because something needs to manifest, right? And I feel like whatever you're asking the universe for or whatever your person is asking the universe for, um, you guys can't, it's like it's taking up too much space and the relationship is taking up too much space. So that's what I'm getting with that. Now, let's see what the last one is here for you, birds. Virgo. <laughs> you have no. You have no here twice. You have no here twice. So if you know that, if you were wondering, should I do this? Should I? No. Hell no. <laughs> um, can I get one more card, please? You have concha messages from beyond communication. I mean, your angels are telling you not to do this. Your angels are screaming at you not to do this. Driftwood, go with the flow. The universe is trying to take it in a different direction and you're resisting. Let's see what this is. What is this no and concha? For my bergs. What is this no and concha? Bottom of the deck is a page of wands. You're the Knight of Cups, the Page of Swords, the Judgment in Reverse, and the King of Swords. If you're trying to offer, um, if you're trying to open communication and offer something to someone, the universe is telling you no, okay? Because this person is going to end up cutting you off. With the, with the King of Swords and the Judgment in Reverse, I feel like um, they're not, they don't want to, I'm getting, I'm saying they don't want to deal with you. This could be reversed. Take it how it resonates. Page of Wands, Five of Wands in Reverse, the Two of Swords. Yeah, this person um, feels like you're drama and they don't want drama with you. If you're the one trying to offer this is this person, that's how they feel. If it's the other way around, that's how you feel. This person might come to you um, and want to offer you something. The universe is saying, hell no, do not accept this. Or if you're trying to go, do not, do not, don't give an offer to someone right now if you're thinking about that because it's not going to work out. The universe doesn't want you to go towards there. You're supposed to be going another way. All right, Virgo? All right, that's all that I have for you. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive.